Hello there Sagittarius Capricorn friends and welcome back to the impromptu immaterial garden. We're not quite ready to go live yet but we will be ready by the next batch of readings. Uh, that being said I wanted to get these unscheduled out. Uh, today is spring equinox and also the sun moves into the sign of Aries. Tomorrow is the new moon in the sign of Aries at zero degrees and 50 minutes. Those of you that have cardinal sign placements, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn from zero to five degrees and and or also mutable sign placements, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces from 27 to 30 degrees in your birth chart, you'll have be the most affected and have the most to gain, but also perhaps the most to, to lose or uh, will go through the most significant changes, okay? Thinking about that zero degrees, that is definitely, you know, a decision-making degree. That's a really important degree uh, when it comes to the astrological energies and the wheel. So pay attention to this, especially with all this Aries, you know, new moon energy, zero degrees. It is a really big time for new beginnings. And don't accidentally set your intentions or miss the opportunity to set your intentions now, because it's going to serve you more than it ever, it probably has in the past, okay? Uh, at least for several years. This may be one of those just significant times or moments when it comes to rebranding, rebirth, reclaiming your life and allowing yourself to become who you are now versus trying to continue to fit into who you were or to fret about who you will be in the future, okay? All right, the future is now, my friends. Get involved, get engaged in the moment because it needs your attention. Time is of the fucking essence, okay? <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and move forward here into uh, this reading. I. I did have immaterial voicemail for you, so let's go ahead and get into that. You've got immaterial voicemail. So I'm actually doing a different type of reading for you here. Uh, it's called a what's the genre reading. And when we look into each of the sections, immaterial love and uh, money, we're going to kind of figure out also looking at some clues, what genre are you in? Uh, based on these clues that might give you some additional guidance as to what to look out for, who might be your, your allies, what might be the lessons that you need to learn or those sorts of things, okay? We're going to kind of flip it into or translate it into narrative, okay? Obviously, I was kind of in inspired by Stranger Than Fiction, but hopefully this will work out. I hope you enjoy it because I feel like there's some situations where if you just realized, are you in a comedy or are you in a tragedy? Are you in, you know, uh, are you in a lifetime drama? I think it would just make it that much easier for you to be like, you know what? I kind of know what needs to happen here. Woo. All right, let us get into this reading and we're going to go ahead and you know what? Uh, start with the immaterial messages. So first of all, let's figure out what genre are you in? Give me uh, two cards that can tell me more about the genre you currently find yourself in. Also, did I mention it's the waning moon in the sign or the waning crescent moon in the sign of Pisces today, which is about endings and bam, tomorrow today and tomorrow all about endings and beginnings all right we have the five of swords and we have the knight of pentacles so you are in an underdog situation is what i'm getting here okay it's like uh every everything might feel like it's against you or people might not expect much from you or for you but someone is counting you out way too early someone doesn't i'm just gonna move my light here a little bit Someone doesn't understand that you've got the right stuff and no matter what they try to do, they put the screws to you, you are going to persevere. Uh, persevere because in this particular case, and let's not get it twisted, Sagittarius Capricorn, you are not, none of us are ever always the hero or the protagonist of the story. Sometimes we are the antagonist. Sometimes we're even the villain. But in this damn case, you are the fucking hero and they are not going to be able to push you down. They are not going to be able to, you know, uh, bounce you out or, or 
press you to the point where you're not going to still be there you're not going to endure that's what i'm getting here okay also there is something here where you are kicking a anything that 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 has been in terms of too much overindulgence or too much control over you you are kicking the bad fucking habits and you were doing it for good this time that's what i'm getting here and it doesn't matter what that applies to but for the most part i feel like it's more about the body i feel like it's more about the body about physical and mental and spiritual health but it could definitely be about people it could definitely be especially maybe your maybe the person who is your biggest bully or protagonist or, or sorry antagonist in the story here <clears throat> it could be this it could be a virgo maybe a leo virgo casper for others maybe you do need to consider am i being the bully in the situation or the bad guy so to speak okay and if so let me just fucking own up to that and make it right but i feel like in this situation your genre is an underdog uh almost like you know like rocky or something like that you know <laughs> a fighter an underdog fighter film or something having to do with people um going through conflicts but you know, actually coming out better for it, okay? And obviously, that's not going to be for everyone. Sometimes, you know, the changes, sometimes the lessons we go through, maybe that is really traumatic. Maybe we do carry, you know, we carry that with us, whether we acknowledge it or not all the time, or we're always acutely aware of it. But we can say some people are definitely more prone to take that experience and maybe they're just lucky and you might just be one of those people because of your astrological dna but it's not going to break you and if anything you really are going to use it as fuel for you know fuel to change what you don't like to change what you don't what you don't want to experience again okay all right you can you will use it to change your experience all right what is at the center of these immaterial messages for our sagittarius capricorn friends march 2023 possibly beyond we have the ace of wands energy there is inspiration there is motivation there is <laughs> concentration focus but the eye of the tiger the eye on the prize the light in the darkness the light at the end of the tunnel the the marker carrying the torch going the distance all right uh all of this for you and a sense of heroicism a sense of not being afraid to try to do the impossible because it's not about whether you accomplish it or not but to be honest you probably will accomplish it at this time but it's about the fact that you even were willing to scoop up the torch and to to um, bear the weight of the mantle okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me more ace of freaking pentacles but yeah i feel like there is something here though where it's like a new a brand new day and you asked and you are you asked for something that you needed in order to in order to carry the torch and it has been granted and it physically has shown up it's something tangible something that that really is uh seeing is believing all right um but again when we're talking about this fresh new start energy having two <laughs> having two freaking aces out the gate is not a bad thing okay also here it's like you're not you're not at the part of the story where you're just beginning you're at the part of the story where you're just beginning to kick fucking ass <laughs> right you have gone through all of the awkward and painful and you know all of the montage uh leveling up you are ready you are approaching being ready for the fucking boss fight okay the it may be the fight of your life queen of pentacles and there you are capricorn with a minor in sagittarius but you will handle it you will face it full on as yourself with everything that you have full of grit and full of idealism and grit hope and wonder uh pessimism and sarcasm you will use everything in your emotional and energetic toolbox in order to get yourself right pick yourself up get your energy right stand back up because it's not just about you 
It's about everyone who will come after you and how much easier you will make it for those people that you care about, for the future that you care about, for them to stand up and to keep going because they see that it's possible, because they see that no matter what people say or what people tell you, if you have the conviction but also if you're willing to do what is necessary to develop the talent, you can make miracles happen. And you can do it with, with so little. You could take all of the things that are discarded and all the things that are forgotten and overlooked around you, and you can turn them into something, into, into the resources that you need in order to, to elevate yourself and then to help elevate others. <sighs> you don't leave people behind unless, unless, it's, unless they have shown or they, unless they say, I don't want to follow or unless they are physically, mentally, spiritually unable to follow. And even though you might be able to move forward very quickly without those people, it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt you, that it does, that you don't feel it, that it doesn't affect you. But you have no choice but to continue forward because you know that that is part of your your path. That is part of uh, part of the work. Part of part of the part of the work. Okay. Let's go ahead and move forward. Dang, uh, sorry, <laughs> Sagittarius Capricorn. Wow, it's got kind of emotional there. We have the Three of Pentacles, but yeah, and also, again, it's it's also a sense of community, a sense of responsibility, a sense of a sense of give and take in terms of knowing what you owe and what you want to give and knowing what is owed to you and what your value is okay also there's something about putting making your words come in come into make making your words manifest you are bound by your word during this time you have limitless potential and you can go in any direction but when you go in a direction make sure that you are ready to commit to it even if there the times it might be good it might be bad you are let's just say that you are marrying whatever this intention is so make sure it is it's a, it's true Truly a good one that it truly serves you and that it even if it doesn't serve others that it very least doesn't work against others make sure that you are not um, make sure you're being realistic with yourself about where it's going to benefit you the most because this is almost like what if you could win the lottery but it's not just oh I want to be comfortable for the rest of my life but what if you could win the lottery and then you could start a foundation or you could start a charity or you could start a movement how would you use that money how would you use that that seed <laughs> right okay that that's the same thing with your energy right now your energy is as good as money your energy is as good as gold we have the lover's card energy but again it's like entering into a contract make sure you understand what you're asking for and what you want to bring forth and forward because it will come but you will be accountable or culpable for the consequences and the impact no matter how good the intention, all right? But for most of you, I feel like there are these very positive, very, um, there are these seeds of divinity that you are ready to plant now. And honestly, because they are done in the right spirit and because you will cultivate them in the right spirit with ethics, with values, with gratitude, they will become something that will nourish not just yourself but others okay so take away the ten of cups energy because this is not about you alone this is about you and your spiritual family your immaterial community this is also about um maybe even the the brotherhood and sisterhood of humanity is also what i get here doing it for for things that are bigger and more important than fame or riches or pride is what I'm getting, okay? Also here, just because you need to prove to yourself, you need to prove to yourself that it can be done. 
and I feel like also as you prove to yourself it can be done you also want to be able to show others that even if their dreams might not be your dreams their dreams are probably attainable too and just in doing that you bring a breath of fresh air you bring hope you bring positivity that's needed that is not it's not an empty-headed you know toxic positivity sort of energy it's more though understanding that yeah there's a lot of things that are wrong but there are some things that are right and there are also some things we can make right okay all right what's at the bottom of the deck here uh oh sorry uh let me put that king of pentacles sorry i was like did i just pick up the knight of pentacles again king of pentacles energy that is taurus energy with the minor in aries also that is a you know security that second house matters there could be a uh, that security resources again and also leadership but leadership in terms of you create the garden so that you can feed others and as you are f you, you know uh you can support them you can feed them as you feed yourself okay all right let's go ahead and move forward my friends let's move into this this love reading for you let's see where's my mouse oh there you go okay Let's move into this love reading for our Sagittarius Capricorn friends for March 2023, possibly beyond. All right, first of all, what freaking genre are you in? What genre are you in when it comes to your love life right now, Sagittarius Capricorn? Well, pull two. We have the Clover. We also have the Stork energy. So you are in an, uh, a coming of age traveling adventure sort of genre where you are having a very positive experience in terms of something where you are traveling and growing challenging yourself uh, i feel like it's a coming of age tale and and but not just uh not your classic one it's almost like a coming of age but the second time it's almost like you're having a second childhood and you're this time you're raising yourself the right way you're also kind of having a it's like your second life is kind of what i'm getting here uh this is yeah maybe this is like a second chapter of life uh feel good sort of uh could be a feel good romance could also be uh, could be a, a romantic comedy as well as kind of what I'm getting here, okay? Because it may, but it makes you feel good in the end. Maybe it's uh, the whole thing is waiting to see when is the timing. When is when are things gonna uh, gonna um, take off between you and this person, okay? Kind of also getting you know like in a um, in like a sitcom when you're like, oh my god, are these two characters ever gonna fucking get together? I totally ship them, but it's almost like yeah, you're coming. <laughs> there's there's something good happening, and I feel like. Like you're finally gonna be with someone that everyone else really wants you to be with is kind of also what i'm getting okay maybe it's your family your friends your you know your workmates but i kind of feel like here that everyone wants you to get together with this person <laughs> But you keep it's beating around the bush we have the key energy so you could be oh 33 the key could be dealing with a taurus possibly also um in terms of this key energy maybe it is like a key moment an opportunity let me see if i can figure out uh so in terms of the key energy for the lenormand that is sun and it's also a uh, north node energy so it could also be dealing with someone who's a taurus a leo someone who might be of uh the the opposite of you whatever sign you're in the dance of polarities with so if you're sagittarius that would be gemini if you're cap you know if you were capricorn that would be cancerian but this person there's a key factor that it's going to allow the so no, that was the right way maybe what these cards are very confusing here oh no it is the right way kind of looks upside down to me but i think it's the camera anyway okay let's go ahead and move forward oh my gosh we have the lilies card energy so i do feel like here some Someone is going to be sincere about their about their intentions about their feelings someone might have been like um 
someone might have also thought for some reason that you were like married or engaged or with someone you could have if you have like a if you have like a parent of an of your another parent of your child you know so to speak or something or maybe an ex i feel like this person they just they, maybe they didn't know that you broke up with this person or they think that you're maybe they also kind of think that you're going to get back together is kind of what i'm getting if you're wondering why this person hasn't made their move yet it's because honestly they don't want to be a rebound and they're let's be real sagittarius capricorn you might have been off again on again with this ex you might have been you know i feel like whatever this is it's like they want to make sure that you really have this other person out of your system is what i'm getting but i also feel like it's like they're they're every urge every bit of themselves wants to tell you how they feel okay also i think like the funny thing is that you don't even realize is that when you're with this person especially if you're just like if you're out if you're alone with them whatever it's almost like if you could watch what was happening in the moments you you aren't looking at them it's almost like uh, or just looking at the situations it's like you keep winding up in these situations that are like a romantic comedy where this person is always in danger of their feelings being exposed to you now this could be you sagittarius capricorn but i'm just going to go with how the narrative is uh, how the story is unfolding for me but i think ultimately here it's almost like maybe like recently you might have found yourself in a position where like someone on the street like a street performer was serenading you and like saying you're such a beautiful couple and you're like ah, we're not a couple and you're your first sorry this this person who wants to be with you is like yeah ha, 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 we're not a couple <laughs> like bawling in the inside oh that's not funny but i just kind of feel like it, it's almost like also there's been several iterations of we're just friends we're just roommates or friends or good friends or something like that and every time you say that your person like dies on the inside oh my god i'm sorry or it could be you actually but i just kind of feel like someone is like it's a romantic comedy but it's not funny for your person and you're just you're just not aware of what's going on <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting here. That being said, I do feel like if you make it clear that you are ready for new beginnings, I mean, maybe just make it clear that, you know, you don't have any intentions of getting back with this other person or whatever. I think that this is a really good time uh, this person for this person to move forward and i feel like uh, i feel like they want they want to be with you and their feelings are sincere though it's not just infatuation it's not just like puppy dog love or puppy love this person has legitimate feelings for you they feel like you're a very important person in their life and you've been together you've you've helped each see each other through some through some very key or pivotal moments or you've just been there present during big transformations uh you've been there during big transformations transformations in each other's lives but i feel like this is going to have a uh, kind of happy ending let's go ahead and see here what's uh what direction this is going what what's the takeaway here we do have the we have the lady card energy so no matter how they identify or present in terms of sex or gender gender or how you present identify or present that that card for me is about the other person so yeah they're the one that's gonna they're feeling good and they're the ones that gonna t that's gonna take action or movement they're gonna try to initiate this this relationship with you okay all right what's the overall takeaway we have the rider energy beautiful positive energy someone is definitely coming to s communicate and to see you in person and they are delivering a message of love <laughs> okay that might sound cheesy but it is we have the book but up until now it might have been secret or it might have been unknown to you all right let's go ahead and move forward my friend uh no 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 me why are you doing that okay let me put these cards back real quick because i just want to place the other cards under here it's fine all right let's go ahead and get into these money messages money messages for sagittarius capricorn friends for march 2023 possibly beyond thank you so much Capri uh, sagittarius capricorn for your patience with your reading i a lot of good things happened including moving so uh, i'm much happier now we are settled in it's a beautiful area and i hope that things continue to grow and change and evolve for you as well all right what is at the center of these money messages for our sagittarius capricorn friends we do have community energy so yeah you could be part of a community drive or possibly even like a community um like maybe like a community 
organized uh, garage sale system or something like that there could be a lot of you and your uh, community members maybe even your apartment building people you might be doing some sort of drive either for money or for charity okay but i feel like it could be selling things garage sale or it could be some big community festival or event that you're planning especially for spring okay all right we do have judication you were waiting for permission or you're waiting for some sort of permits or you're waiting to find out if you were going to be allowed to do this festival or uh, maybe you were waiting to see uh, there could be if you've already if you just decided to do a bunch of like uh, garage sales for instance there could be some someone might be hassling you someone might be complaining complaining about uh, this you doing business there or asking for permits or something or this could be if you did it ahead of time maybe you're just waiting to see if you're going to be approved we have the lovers we have mature man so it's like the authority yeah you you sign a contract or you get the paperwork or you get permission so it i, I feel like if you if you're doing this in advance you are getting permission you're you're it, this is going to be no issues. I think it's going to be, I think this might be end up being something that becomes tradition is what I'm getting. If not though, if this is something that's already tradition though, there could be some, there could be some changing of hands of who's running this. Maybe people, maybe the people that were running it in the past, maybe there was some like, I mean, it sounds funny, but there's like some sort of corruption in this like homeowners association or community sort of thing where there's, there's money to be made and also money to be stolen. That's kind of what I'm getting. For others, though, this might be the first year and you're getting permission. This might become tradition. I feel like it's going to raise a lot of money or it's going to bond the community or something like that. Uh, if you already have something going, though, someone might challenge this or someone might complain. But in the end, the judgment is for you. Uh, it's the other people are going to be shut down whoever's trying to shut whoever's trying to like make problems or shut this down okay we have mature man we have mature woman energy so there could be though like an older couple that just they might be causing problems or they might th there could be some old school sort of like elitist energy though again in like the community of their homeowners association maybe these people are looking down on this but it looks like the it looks like if this is a married couple one of the people especially the masculine energy in the relationship is actually in on this or actually wants to help actually likes the community uh it's it's the feminine energy or the wife that really is is the snooty one or is trying to cause problems there could be a karen showing up is kind of what i'm seeing here but i kind of feel like one way or another it would be a shame if they wasted your time like in court or something like that or with the authorities but i feel like um they're not going to be able to it's still going to be successful whatever this thing is that you're throwing that and that you are pulling together uh to, to for money or for charity okay what's what direction is this going yeah we have privileged lady energy but there's definitely someone they might live in the nicest house in the neighborhood or the biggest house in the neighborhood but it looks like this person is being very snooty about things or it looks like it is possible okay if it's a little more messy or complicated or maybe this is something you don't know i mean if it's you you would know but if it's not uh someone could be having an affair with the with the one of the people in this relationship with the masculine energy especially and the feminine energy knows this and this is their passive aggressive way of addressing the cheating going through the homeowners association or trying to trying to ruin this event or this community project because they don't like that this one person part of it is sleeping with their spouse okay <laughs> all right what's the takeaway here we have the main male energy the main male no matter how you identify or present in terms of sex or gender is you for me in this deck so you could be the person having the affair and i'm not gonna say anything but you know what your business is but if uh, if not then you are gonna play some key role in making sure that this that this is successful i feel like hell or high water no matter what is against you you're gonna make sure that this this works out okay oh let's pull two cards just to see what freaking genre is this we have house and we have concern so in terms of genre we have uh yeah i feel like there's there's 
some concern coming from a specific family, a specific household. This may be a you versus the, the old money or you versus the system sort of story, okay? <laughs> Woo! All right, my friends, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to join us for the rest of the unscheduled. I made a whole bunch of new playlists. There's a bunch of new posts to the community board. Please take a look just so that you stay fresh with everything that's happening with the channel because I know things change pretty frequently, but that's part of the nature of this channel, part of the nature of my stuff. Anyway, friends, until next time. Oh, and keep an eye out for additional wildflower readings. I am going to try to do a couple, hopefully for March, but at some point in the near future, there probably will be unscheduled April readings that are coming out as well. So we'll see what happens, okay? All right, friends, until next time, gratitude to the divine, to you, and all of creation. Oh, I was going to change it. <laughs>